In this video I'll show you why you should throw a green cube like this in your toilet and what it is all about. Because what you need for this is baking soda. I'm using the baking soda from my own store here. Be sure to check out the store, you found the link at the bottom of the video description. We're also going to need some regular dishwashing liquid. Now we're going to take a larger bowl and put some of the dishwashing liquid in here first. It should be about 100 milliliters. Once you've done that, you can then add the baking soda to that. Here it should be about 3 to 4 tablespoons with the amount of detergent. But you can adjust it a little bit later. Once we put the baking soda in, we're going to start mixing everything together really nicely because we're just making ourselves little cleaning taps for the toilet here. And all we need for this are just these two ingredients and absolutely no chemicals or any more expensive cleaners. In the end the consistency should look something like this. As I said you can still vary a bit with the baking soda if it is still too liquid. Then you need such an ice cube mold or generally any other form where you can put this whole thing now. Now here I fill the individual little holes with this mixture so that they are really completely full up to the top. And when that's done then I put the whole thing in the freezer because this is where the cleaning taps now have to get really nice and hard before we can use them. If you want to clean the toilet then you take one of these cleaning taps out of the freezer and throw it into the toilet in the next step. Now you have to wait about 20 minutes until the whole thing has slightly dissolved. And then you can start cleaning. Take the toilet brush and wipe the whole toilet with it. You will see that it starts to foam nicely and the baking soda in combination with the flushing agent provides a really good and nice cleaning. And you've got your toilet really clean again with these homemade cleaning taps. Try the whole thing therefore definitely once. If you now still want to know why woman's underwear often has a pocket, then be sure to watch this video which I link to you at this point. If you liked the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.